So I'm going to be showing you the first big test of SysScript. So if I go to Goldleaf here, because it has a file browser, um, if we look at scripts and then script1.janet, view text. So this is um, a version of Lisp called Janet. And at the top here, I define um, what the old style Linux task scripts look like. And I create a map of key names to their values. I have a function that runs um, a certain line of an NX task script. Um, and then these next three lines, these widths, I open a file. I grab the uh, switch's display and I grab its vsync event so I can sync to vertical sync for the inputs. I create a function that waits for a certain amount of frames. Then this width here creates a controller that will automatically be detached as soon as the as soon as the script ends. So there's just going to be no leftover hanging around controller. So you have to clean up manually. Then I wait a second, press LNR, wait a second, remove LNR, wait a second, press A, wait a second, remove A, and then wait a second. And then I set two variables, one for tracking if the file is empty, because I don't want to keep running inputs if there's no more inputs left in the file, and the other to track the current frame I'm on. I wait for the next vsync, and then I start reading file lines, and I and when I read a line, I check if the line has text, and if it does, uh, then I run my function from above, my run input function that sets the input. So uh, if you can see here from this first width, I open script8.txt. So if we take a look at that, um, uh, so for a bunch of frames in the beginning, I'll be holding Y and right, and then I'll switch to holding X and right, and I'll press B, and then I'll hold X and left, and so on and so forth. So let's show this off. So I'm going to go into Mario Maker. I will press play button. I'll turn both of my controllers off. So now the switch is going to be looking for a controller to control Mario Maker. So now I'm going to run the Lisp. And so this is it reading and parsing a file in real time to run a task. Now this is the, well, well it desynced, unfortunate. But my switch has been getting really hot recently, so that's, you know, probably why it desynced. Uh, just heat throttling. It happens. But this is, this is just like the first goal of SysScript. Eventually I want it to be able to control many more parts of the system, but I figured this would be a good first demo of what it can do.